Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem based on the Lagrange's method of undetermined multipliers. The question is, show that if the perimeter of a triangle is a constant, then the triangle has maximum area when it is equilateral. Let's take a small rough diagram. This is a triangle where the sides are A, B and C. As per the question, if the perimeter is constant, so the perimeter is nothing but sum of the sides A plus B plus C. They say it is a constant. So let us take a constant K. Then the triangle has maximum area when it is equilateral. So they say maximum area. Now area of the triangle, the formula is we use root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C where S is nothing but A plus B plus C by 2. So the semi perimeter since already we have taken A plus B plus C as K so let's take it as K by 2. So when you substitute here the value of a is root of k by 2 into k by 2 minus a into k by 2 minus b into k by 2 minus c. Since there is a square root, we can take square on both the sides and take it as a square and write the rest of the terms as it is. So, now we have to write the auxiliary function, capital F. So, this F is in terms of x, y, z and lambda. The first term is F of x, y, z plus lambda into the constant g of x, y, z. Now, as per the question, they say maximum area. So that is our small f of x, y, z. So now our auxiliary function capital F is this area v squared. So we will take this itself as the small f. That is k by 2 into the rest of the terms. Then we have plus lambda into g of x, y, z is a constraint where they say the perimeter is constant. So we have named this as k. When I bring this k to the other side, it will become a plus b plus c minus k. Now let's differentiate this with respect to a. So this will become minus 1 and k by 2 k by 2 minus b, k by 2 minus c are constant. So this will become minus k by 2 because differentiation is minus 1. So we write the minus at the starting of the term and the rest of the term will be as it is k by 2 minus b, k by 2 minus c plus lambda into 1 which is lambda only. And as per the condition we equate this to 0. Now in the same way let us find with respect to positive differentiation with respect to b. So again minus k by 2. Now k by 2 minus a then k by 2 minus c will come. These are constant only. This is a variable b and its differentiation is minus 1. So we wrote the minus in the starting of the term. Then here it is lambda because b differentiation is 1 and the rest of the terms are 0. So as per the condition we have to equate this to 0. Then partial differentiation of the function with respect to c will be minus k by 2 into k by 2 minus a into k by 2 minus b plus lambda equal to 0. Now from this if I take this entire term to the other side I will get lambda equal to k by 2 into k by 2 minus b into k by 2 minus c. Let us take this as the first equation. 
in the same way from the second term that is capital F B we have lambda as k by 2 into k by 2 minus a into k by 2 minus c. Let's take this as a second equation. Then from the third part lambda is k by 2 into k by 2 minus a into k by 2 minus b. Now we equate the first and second equation. Both are lambda. So equating first and second. So we get k by 2 into k by 2 minus b into k by 2 minus c equal to k by 2 into k by 2 minus a into k by 2 minus c. So we cancel k by 2 on both the sides then k by 2 minus c on both the sides and we left with k by 2 minus b equal to k by 2 minus a. It means k by 2 minus b equal to k by 2 minus a. Once again we can cancel k by 2 on both the sides and minus also we can cancel. Finally we left with b equal to a. Let's keep this as a fourth equation. In the same way we can equate another two term. So equating second and third. The second term, second equation is having k by 2, k by 2 minus a, k by 2 minus c. So it is having a and c. So let's write the terms here. k by 2 into k by 2 minus a into k by 2 minus c. And third equation is having k by 2, k by 2 minus a, k by 2 minus b. In the same way, we write everything k by 2 minus a, then k by 2 minus b. Now, we can cancel k by 2 on both the sides, then k by 2 minus a also on both the sides. From the remaining terms, we get k by 2 minus c equal to k by 2 minus b. So, k by 2, k by 2 after cancelling, then after cancelling the minus sign, we get c equal to b or b equal to c, anything, both are same. So, let's take this as a fifth equation. From 4 and 5, we come to know, from 4 and 5, we come to know a equal to b, that is what we got in the fourth equation, a equal to b, but now b equal to c. So, all the three are equal. So, as per the question, what we have to prove is, show that if the perimeter of the triangle is constant, then the triangle has a maximum area when it is equilateral. Since we got three sides, this A, B, C are equal, it is an equilateral triangle. Therefore, the triangle is equilateral.